China's Foxconn helps feed the world's hunger for high-tech gadgets and toys as the manufacturer of iPhones, PCs, and PlayStations. But lately, the company has grabbed the spotlight for other reasons, a rash of worker suicides and low wages. Bloomberg Business Week went inside the company for an exclusive look at the industrial powerhouse of the 21st century. And for more, we are joined right now by the magazine's editor, Josh Terengelt. Josh, always glad to see you. You sat down with the chairman, not you personally, mm -hmm. Bloomberg Business Week, and the chairman did not allow himself to be interviewed, or the last time on record was 2005. So why now? Is it to try to clean up their public image a little bit? Uh, more than a little bit. Uh, it's a very secretive company, and, and Terry Guo um, is really, he's a fascinating guy. In another context, we'd be sort of lauding him as an American-type hero. Um, he started the company at age 23. He was a shipping clerk with a $7,500 loan from his mother. And the first things they ever made were these sort of plastic dials for black and white televisions that people were buying in the mid-70s. He grew the company himself into this massive, massive beast that has 900,000 employees in China. Um, they did it because they're quiet. They supply people like Apple, Nokia, HP, Sony, and nobody wants to hear from them. And all of a sudden, the suicides, 11 of them earlier this year, thrust the company into the, into the spotlight. Yeah, because it's pretty dramatic. I mean, they had to put nets, or they chose to put nets on the outside of their building. So what does that say about the working conditions? What does that say about the pay? Well, it's, it's curious. I mean, no, no one can really say what causes a suicide cluster. And at the same time, no one would suggest that working long hours, when you've got 18 to 25-year-olds, mostly from rural backgrounds, coming into a college-like situation for the first time, no one would say that that makes it easier and makes working conditions better. Um, but Guo really did, he admitted to us that it, it, he was stunned by the pace of all this. And for the first three, four, five, he didn't think he had anything to do with it. He didn't think he had any guilt. And but it was honestly, only- Josh, even, even if he did, would he admit that? Well, he did say that now he feels horribly guilty. That once it got to nine, 10, and they were putting suicide nets up around the dormitories, which is a, a shocking thing to see in the photos that we show, um, that now he feels incredibly guilty. And he, he lives on the campus, the main Longhua campus, where the 300,000 people who produce iPhones actually are. So uh, could you be judged by a jury of your peers? I mean, can we say the company is actually guilty for causing the suicides, or is this just not possible it's to say? It's just so hard to know. I mean, you're talking about so many hundreds of thousands of people and some isolated incidents. And again, there, there are all these different factors. Obviously, there's intense amounts of work. And, and the workers who go there know that they're going there because they're going to have the opportunity to work a lot and get paid a lot. Um, but you've also got, again, r rural people, um, exposure to all sorts of new cultures at the same moment. It's really difficult to pin down what causes that cluster. Now, has it hurt their business relationships at all? I mean, we just, uh, in the introduction to you, talked about how they do the manufacturing for Hewlett Packard desktops for a lot of the Apple products. I mean, is this going to hurt their relationships with the U.S. companies? No. And, and, the, and the real reason is that no one else can do what Foxconn does. Um, the companies we spoke to. And what do you mean by that? Churn out products uh, with lo relatively low labor costs? Yeah, I mean, manufacture really complicated consumer electronics at seemingly impossible prices at, at, at huge scale. No one else can really do it the way that Terry Guo's company does it. 